So up to this point, we have prepared a user interface uh, for user to get the input output response. I mean, by uh, set up all combination of crisp input and then get the crisp output uh, for the user to, to see what is the relationship between input and output. So right now we need to have uh, a control, a uh, charting control help us to display a, a 3D surface on the 3D uh, dimension. So uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, include a T-chart component and then use the T-chart component. I mean, in 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 the uh, in this component. So, so let us go back to uh, uh, the uh, resource we I gave to you. I mean, in the uh, assignment five. So in the assignment five, as you can see, you get a T-chart component. It's a third-party dynamic component. So once you click on the T-chart, you will see there are simply two files. The one is uh, a DLL file. The other is an, uh, a help file. I mean, help to understand the uh, class and the functionalities. I mean, specified within this uh, component. So the component is T chart. And how can we uh, incorporate uh, this third party component to uh, our project? Right, let me show you. So since right now everything has been put has been put in in our solution folder, right? So you had better move uh, the T chart component to your solution folder in order to make them complete. But it is not necessary, okay? Usually you can put a teacher in somewhere else. You don't, well, probably this is the way I am going to show you. So right now the component is right here, right? In the teacher, teacher, the DL there. So, but this is our project. You don't need to worry about the, uh, uh, the original DL file at all. Actually, once once our project including include that DLL, then the DLL will be uh, well, it will be the uh, will be copied to your execution executable folder. So it's okay, but it is not good. I mean, just put in as an arbitrary folder. Usually, we will move this component probably to your C directory somewhere. Okay. Otherwise, if you uh, move this t uh, this component to some other folder, then uh, you are, we just still will not recognize it anymore. All right, but for this moment, it's okay because uh, we just want to. I will just want to show you well, how can you set up an environment. We just do an environment that has the ability to access the component, especially within this T chart DLL. Okay, so remember right now your T chart the DLL file is within this folder. So let us open our uh, Visual Studio. So first thing is that you need to. Uh, uh, Include that DLL within your uh, toolbox. Okay, toolbox. So let us open our tool, toolbox first. If you want to open the toolbox, you need to open a form. Only, only when you are displaying a form, the toolbox can show up for you. So as you can see, as you can see in the toolbox, these are the standard component, right? This component is provided by Dynamic Framework. But right now, we try to uh, include the .NET, uh, excuse me, the T-chart component. The T-chart component do have a uh, uh, control, so you can drag in, that means, to your, your phone. So for the is right, we are trying to add a tag. So we try to uh, add uh, uh, indexing uh, tag. So name any title as you wish, but right now it's referred to, uh, it is uh, actually uh, referring to a T chart, so I call it T chart. Okay. So right now we have a tag. Within this tag, right click your mouse button, and then select what? Uh, select items. Select items. So, uh, dialog will pop up. Well, this dialog will try to access, try to search over the uh, install done a component on, uh, on your computers, it will take uh, uh, several, I think it will take uh, quite a few uh, seconds to complete the, the, uh, the search, right? So as you can see, in our done framework, uh, a bunch of different kind of object can be include, can be uh, can be used, anyway, can be can be used uh, for our c -sharp project. So the standard one should be done a framework uh, component. The uh, the other type of components should come 
object. Kamojus, uh, this is uh, it, it's a object model provided by Microsoft. So for the legacy application, some some application because the, those application has been written in object only uh, structure. So those application may claim may declare itself as a com component. So in that case, you can you can take advantage of other applications. Uh, to regard this that application as a com object, and then then you dynamic framework your project can directly use it. For example, several com objects are, are related to video playing. So, uh, if you like, you can you can include that com uh, com object to your system. So then, you can build up an application. Uh, for example, video playing video playing uh, application pretty fast, but using uh, the com com component or other application, for example, uh, media player or uh, several famous uh, video player, they can be regarded as com object anyway. Okay, fine. For now, since the teacher component is a standard dynamic uh, framework component, so we can ch check the list there. As you can see, uh, currently, your toolbox does not include every uh, standard dynamic framework. So sometimes you need to uh, go to uh, this dialog and select the component you like to have. But right now, our component has not been installed in our com our computer. It just exists there. So we need to click on this browse button, try to locate the D uh, my, our DLL file. So click on the browse and then navigate to the folder you. You just see, okay. This is this is our folder. This is this is the the folders of our component. So I copy the paste, kind of copy the paste. Then here, within the browse dialog, okay, just select tchart.dll. So right now we just try to identify what is that DLL is. So. In Node, well, it's a t it's a dynamic framework. So as you can see, they have been included within the, this list. In this, you can kind of well uh, click on this namespace. So as you can see, this component uh, defined within Stima. That Stima is the company name that uh, sell the teacher component. All right, so I think that's it. That will be enough. Uh, we can have a teacher there. All right, so. Uh, once they are checked, then you can click on. Uh, okay, so what we have done is that we try to add a new component here. Okay, so web chart is not ready because web chart is for web page design. Okay, so that is the it's actually it's not installation, just just add a, add a tag and then identify the teacher DL the available component. So it will pop up right here. And then what we need is that, as you can see, uh, these are the component. So we can drag in the T chart component, which is almost like the Microsoft chart. All right, this is T chart. And T chart is a, uh, the, the, the design philosophy is a little bit different from the uh, Microsoft chart. This is Microsoft chart, right? This is T chart. So T chart, too, uh, once you right click it again, similar to the Microsoft chart. You, we have uh, several uh, properties can be modified directly in design phase. So as you can see that, uh, as you can see, the name by default is T chart one, T chart one. And how about the uh, collection object? See, animation is a collection. Wow, as you can see, series. So this T chart one two has a property called series. So definitely that should be the one we have to have. But right now, since we are using T chart for displaying a 3D surface, so well, we should uh, let us add a one service first. So add, so you can see a bunch of uh, commercialized uh, uh, series can be can be selected in T chart. Okay, so definitely we are dealing with three dimensional uh, series. So there is a series called surface surface series. So we simply select it. All right, so remember that your surface one is a series, the three dimensional uh, surface uh, series. All right, 
and what you what what we what what you need to uh, set up probably is we have some problem you need to set up for example the color if you you don't like it you can change it uh, okay so the x value y is this and this is this uh, color name color number of x value you should set it so suppose uh, by default the resolution is 30 then we should set it 30 30 by 30 so how about the uh, irregular Okay, let me go through one by one, activate color, get us all steps. And horizontal axis, uh, mouse, palette. I, mean, I think the risk property should be set by, uh, by, by, by the coding. So title is service one. But right now we'd like to change it into the uh, output was input it's an output response so probably we think simply uh, let's make a title output response surface water line x values Okay, I think that's it. Probably we'll change our uh, star color a little more bright. So, so, that, so up to this point, we have prepared a user interface uh, for user to get the input output response. I mean, it's by uh, set up all combination of crisp input and then get the crisp output uh, for the user to, to see what is the relationship between input and output? Uh, so right now we need to have uh, a control, a uh, charting control help us to display a, a 3D surface uh, on the 3D uh, dimension. So uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, include a T-chart component and then use the T-chart component. I mean, in 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 the uh, in this component. So. So let us go back to uh, uh, the uh, resource we I gave to you. I mean, in the uh, assignment five. So in assignment five, as you can see, you get a T chart component. It's a third party dynamic component. So once you click on the T chart, you will see there are simply two files. The one is uh, a DLL file. The other is an uh, a help file. I mean. It's Help to understand the uh, class and the functionalities. I mean, specified within this uh, component. So the component is T chart, and how can we uh, incorporate uh, this third-party component to uh, our project? Uh, let me show you. So since right now everything has been put has been put it in in our solution folder, right? So you had better merge uh, the T chart component to your solution folder in order to make them complete. But it is not necessary. Okay. Usually, you can put a teacher in somewhere else. You don't, well, probably this is the way I am going to show you. So, right now, the component is right here, right? In the teacher, teacher, the DL there. So, but this is our project. You don't need to worry about the uh, uh, the original DL file at all. Actually, once once our project including include that DL at all, then the DL will be, uh, well, it will be the uh, will be copied to your execution executable folder, so it's okay. But it is not good. I mean, just put in a, an arbitrary folder. Usually, we will move this component probably to your C directory somewhere. Okay. Otherwise, if you uh, move this t uh, this component to some other folder, then uh, you are we just still will not recognize it anymore. All right. But for this moment, it's okay because uh, we just want to. I just want to show you well, how can you set up an environment, we just do an environment that has the ability to access the component specified within this tchart.dll, okay? So remember right now, your tchart.dll file is within this folder, so let us open our uh, Visual Studio. So first thing is that you need to uh, 
uh, include that D error within your uh, toolbox. Okay, toolbox. So let us open our tool, toolbox first. If you want to open the toolbox, you need to open a form. Only, only when you are displaying a form, the toolbox can show up for you. So as you can see, as you can see, in the toolbox, these are the standard component, right? This component is provided by .NET Framework. But right now, we try to uh, include the .NET, uh, excuse me, the T-Chart component. And T-Chart component do have a uh, uh, control, so you can drag in, that means, to your, your phone. So for the sense, right, we are trying to add a tag. So we try to uh, add uh, uh, indexing uh, tag. So name any title as you wish. But right now it's referred to, uh, it is uh, actually uh, referring to a T chart. So I call it T chart. Okay. So right now we have a tag. Within this tag, right click your mouse button. And then select what? Uh, select items. Select items. So, uh, dialog pop up. Well, this dialog will try to as it try to search over the uh, install Dynamic component on uh, on your computers. It will take uh, uh, several. I think it will take uh, quite a few uh, seconds to complete the the, uh, the search. Right. So as you can see in our Dynamic framework. Uh, a bunch of different kind of object can be include can be uh, can be used anyway can be can be used uh, for our C sharp project. So the standard one should be done in framework uh, component. The uh, the other type of component should be com object. Com object is uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a object model provided by Microsoft. So for the legacy application, some some application because the, those application has been written in object only uh, structure. So those applications may claim, may declare itself as a com component. So in that case, you can you can take advantage of other applications uh, to regard this, that application as a com object. And then you done it work, your project can directly use it. For example, several com objects are, are related to video playing. So uh, if you like, you can, you can include that come uh, come object to your system. So then you can build up an application. Uh, for example, video playing video playing uh, application pretty fast by using uh, the com com component or other application. For example, uh, media player or uh, several famous uh, video playing they can be regarded as come object anyway. Okay, fine. For now, since the teacher component is a standard uh, framework component, so we can ch check the list there. As you can see, uh, currently your toolbox does not include every uh, standard dynamic framework. So sometimes you need to uh, go to uh, this dialog and select the component you would like to have. But right now, our component has not been installed in our, com our computer. It just exists there. So we need to Click on this browse button. Try to locate the D, uh, my, our DR at a file. So click on the browse and then let me get to the folder. You you just see okay. This is this is our folder. This is this is the the folders of our component. So I copy the paste, kind of copy the paste. And then here within the browse dialog, okay, just select tchart.dll. So right now we just to try to identify what is that D error is. So in Node, well, it's a T, it's a dynamic framework. So as you can see, they have been included within the, this list. And this you can kind of well uh, click on this namespace. So as you can see, this component uh, defined it within Stima. That Stima is the company name that uh, sell the teacher component. All right, so I think that's it. Said that will be enough. Uh, we can have a teacher there. All right, so uh, once they are checked, it, then you can click on. Uh, okay, so what we have done is that we try to add a new component here. 
okay so web chart is not ready because we chart is what web page design okay so a lot is the it's actually it's not installation just just add a add a tag names identify the teacher the area the available component so it will pop up right here and then what we need is that as you can see uh these are the component so we can drag in the t-chart component which is almost like the microsoft chart all right this is the t-chart and t-chart is a uh, the, the the design philosophy is a little bit different from the uh, microsoft chart this is microsoft chart right this is t-chart so t-chart do uh, once you right click it again similar to the microsoft chart we have uh, several uh, public can be modified directly in design phase so as you can see that uh, as you can see the name by default is t chart one t chart one and how about the uh, collection object see animation it's a collection wow as you can see series so this t chart one two has a property called series so definitely that should be the one we have to have but right now since we are using t-chart for displaying a 3d surface so well we should uh, uh let us add a one service first so add so you can see a bunch of uh, commercialized uh, uh series can be can be selected in t-chart okay so definitely we are dealing with three dimensional uh series so there is a series called surface surface series so we simply select it all right so remember that your service one is a series the three-dimensional uh surface uh series all right and what you what what we what what you need to uh set up properly is we have some problem you need to set up for example the color if you you don't like it you can change it uh Okay, so the X ready by Z ready. Uh, color, name, color. Number of X value, you should set it. So suppose uh, by default, the resolution is 30, then we should set it 30, 30 by 30. So how about the uh, irregular? Okay, let me go through one by one, activate color, get us all steps. And horizontal axis, uh, mouse, palette. Well, I think the rest property should be set by, uh, by, by, by the coding. So title is service one. But right now we'd like to change it into the uh, output was input it's an output response or probably we think simply uh, make a title output response surface water line x values okay i think that's it probably we'll change our uh, stock color a little more bright so so that side the brush color colors mm. brush And hung up. Now nah, I don't know what what's wrong. Okay. Wow, the crash. I don't know why. Okay, we are back again. So, uh, click on the uh, T chart. As you can see, we have similar uh, 
property exists in the uh, teacher, but uh, the philosophy wise, implementation wise, quite different from the Microsoft chart, okay? So suppose right now I click on uh, theories and uh, try to add a three dimensional theories surface in it. And uh, make sure the number x is uh, number x values. Suppose initial resolution 30 by 30. We set it, right? So, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, testing data has been uh, populated there. But uh, you, still, you should modify the uh, three-dimension projection somehow through these interfaces. Or otherwise, you can right-click on this component. There's a command called uh, edit, edit this tree chart. So that would be much more I mean, uh, convenient for you in uh, comparing uh, using these properties step by step, and then it would be much more um, easier for you to, to make a modification. So, example three dimension right here. So, you can see uh, we by default is orthogonal. Orthogonal is, does not look like a uh, normal, uh, the, the chart, the three dimension effect will not look norm, normal, right? So, usually we kind of use perspective. So, perspective depth is kind of squeezed, so we need to make the uh, perspective much more in order to let it look uh, so and the, the percentage probably we can make it into like 30 so it will look much more uh, three-dimensional and the perspective is better anyway how about the zoom so I can uh, elevation elevation try to change it a little bit Mm, zoom text aside and click. Well, okay. So all we have done is that we try to activate the uh, three-dimensional effect, and then turn off our orthogonal. So that turned out to be a perspective, and the perspective is right here. We set it probably eighty percent like that. All right. So close. But remember that uh, usually, I mean, the x is right here in in T chart. X x is, is right here. The vertical should be the y axis. How about the depth? Depth is actually z, z uh, axis. Okay, so remember that. And then let us try the properties. Uh, we can try something. Uh, try to uh, suppose I have a button. I will show you how to do the sine cosine. Uh, All right, and also in addition to this T chart component, uh, as you can see, I previously I kind of click on some button try to rotate it, right? And well, let us turn off the legion first. Turn off the legion, right? Legion right here, T chart legion. So well, visible. So kind of turn it off. All right, so there's no version. And I think the zoom is, is too big, right? So I can. Again, modify it is a little bit uh, zoom. And you also can rotate it to a position which is much more realistic somehow. So, all right. Okay. Done. So, in the other case, you can uh, adjust the 3D effect somehow. And I make sure I can dock anchor. Also then similar. All right. So this is the T chart component. And if you want to manipulate the, the chart, you can you should add another component called what? Uh, editor. I think no no not editor. Should be the uh, chart controller. Chart controller is another component. Okay. By default, actually it's a toolbar. By default, it will duck down the tape. On the top or its parent uh, control. So, but you need to specify the target. This this is the chart controller, right? You need to uh, specify the target, the target chart right here. You just click on uh, select this one, T chart one. Okay. Uh, and I don't think uh, when, once you run the code, because that is the demo data, it will not pop up at all. So nothing will be displayed, right? 
Uh, but uh, you, you click on this, you can rotate and the chart easily. So by the way, it's T-chart there. And it's also a fixed angle there. All right, it's already there. So what's left should be uh, the uh, should be your coding that pop up, populated the point on the surface. So how can we do that? Suppose I add another button. Okay, I add a button right here. Try to uh, generate a point on the uh, on the uh, surface. So remember that right now we have an object called Service One ready for you directly. In Microsoft Chart, all the series is not uh, externally accessible. You should access the uh, uh, series through the uh, series property of T Chart. But right now you you still can do that. I mean, for the T Chart, you still can access the series and by using the series. Uh, the, the property is a correction property, so you can still access that service. But however, since it is externally accessible, so you can directly use the service one to populate your point. Okay, so in order to uh, make our code clear, so I will change the name service one into a uh, uh, response surface. All right. Surface. So if I try to uh, generate a surface uh, on the uh, response surface, so what kind of coding sh you should do? So let me uh, show you how to do that. So button two, right? So we should have a four I and I and my call it a row equals zero. Row is more than so there is a resolution R plus plus. Four, ing column equals zero. Column is more than thirty. Column plus plus. All right, and then I needed to have a double x, y, not y, so the z, and then y. This time you you will see why you need to have this kind of order. All right, so uh, suppose x. Uh, is related to R, right? R probably, suppose I have X minima somehow, double X min equal probably zero, right? And I have X maxima probably 10. Fine. That's it. That's it. So I will prepare a double called x delta. Well, maybe change it to minus 10, minus 10. x delta. And also y delta. Well, I should not say it y. As I just mentioned, that, that the other direction should be z, d, l, t, a. <coughs> double, suppose z, mean, is equal minus 5. And the z max is equal 5.0, somehow like that. All right, so our x delta can be like x maximum, right? Minus x minimum divided by 29. So then I will have 30 point along the uh, x axis. D O U B L U. So how about the uh, delta? Similarly, Z max. No, I do not have Z max right here. I should use semicolon. So Z max minus Z min minimum. Divided by what? By uh, 29. So if I have this double ready, I do not need to use the row column at all. Okay, so I can simply say that x equal double x equal and there I say x equal 
x mu, right? And uh, x smaller. Well, I think that's still I have better stick on point because we need to have precisely thirty by thirty points. Okay, so all right, so double x z y x equal what r times uh, x delta right plus x mu. So when r reach 29, 29 times x delta, right, because we divide by 29, so plus x mu right, should be equal to maxima. All right, so as the x. And how about the z? z should be equal uh, c times z delta plus c no, it's this here the z mean. Okay, so right now I have x z ready. So I need to compute y. So y if y in terms of probably mathematic uh, sign somehow sign well x ten, right? Radian. Oh it's okay because uh, a radian Okay. Can probably anyway it's all right. So I sign x plus plus will be we anyway. Let me try that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Maths cosine y. Oh no, it's it's with z. So suppose this is your equation uh, for the uh, three dimensional surface. Y is in terms of x and z somehow. So right now I have an x, y, z ready. So I can ask the service, uh, the service what the uh, uh, response service, response service. It's a surface series. So as you can see, similarly we have add, but we do not have a points list. We have add. Add has sixty six uh, invocation ways. So six ways. So. Well, actually, we can just simply with uh, it means that you try to find the correct one for you. It's simply add an x um, z. So we can see x y z value x y z value. Okay. And I think before that, before that, because each time it will be changed, right? So each time response surface, you should invoke a clear. Clear that means clear all the points. So the difference is from the uh, Microsoft chart, we don't have a points correction uh, under the uh, response surface of under the series object. So it's, it's a little bit different. So now we click, kind of click all the point, and then. We added the point, so a new service will be generated. But before that, I think we should make sure the uh, chart, the uh, list response surface, response surface, x number, number of x value, number of x value equal 30. Response surface, number of y, z value. See, it's the z value. So z should be the depth axis. The vertical should be the y axis. So make sure the information is a little bit from Cartesian uh, coordinate systems. All right. So, and I think we still need to set another property. Uh, I think it's irregular. Irregular grid should I set this property to be true. T I U E. All right. So once everything has been set up, you can you can run it. So in this case, when this button hit, we will generate. As you can see, we will generate service. Uh, this is sine plus, all right? So if you want to rotate it, click on this button, you can rotate sine cosine, right? So how about we type, time, time them up? Well, we can change it quickly. Well, if I, this function is time. So let us see what we're going on. Okay, yep, here. 
So that is the uh, three dimension service. Okay, so if you want to display a 3D service, it's uh, simple, like this one. Uh, uh, you just, you have that. All right, so back to our project. Uh, what we don't try to do is try to have a crispy difference, right? So similarly, uh, at the end of this class, today's class, because we have I30, right? So if you would like to let the resolution can be specified by the user, how can you how can you do that? Well, you just uh, prepare properties and numerical up down control numerical up down control. Saying that this should be the resolution. So by default, NUD numerical NUD ISOLU resolution uh, initial value. 30 has been specified, minimum 0, it's not normal, so we have better set well, at least 10 point, and the maximum, maximum uh, is 100, it's okay, so this is the resolution you use like. So in this case, in your CRISPR inference, the resolution is not directly set to the 30, right? So you might have int is o a u t i resolution equal n u e d resolution dot value it's a decimal v a l u e it's a decimal value so you need to cast it cast into a, a resolution so resolution is already there resolution 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 okay and similarly, we need to set up our x, y. Okay, so this is for uh, two dimensional uh, 3D surface. And if the input dimension is one, that should be the uh, uh, 2D curve. So you need to do it in different ways. So you can, you can, well, probably add another t-chart no not t-chart uh, you can use the uh, microsoft chart behind it oops uh, so behind it and initially it is invisible okay so you can toggle the appearance of these two this one is for uh, two dimension input this one is for one dimension input and since one dimension input is very clear we just have a series, it's, it's a line. So chart type, you can direct this into uh, the line. Chart type is a line. Okay, so initially, whoops, excuse me, uh, I kind of double click it. So default event has been subscribed. So I set the visible into false. And then during this, implementation I can well push up push it down all right so there's really no problems we just uh, we just see the t-chart and you know as well so you need to uh, uh, toggle the appearance of these two chart once you the special the input well if we use a special two input universe then this chart will come up if we use uh, add another universe so it's three dimensional and this teacher will be will be will, will be this invisible okay so because output response only suitable for two dimensional input or one dimension input so make sure uh, you hide the you hide the chart which are not supposed to be appear okay so make it make sure i mean in, well just do the full proof uh, coding okay so so let us go back to the uh, this function again so you need to know the first universe, right? So where is the first universe? Remember that right now you have three labels, right? So you need to come out, uh, came, you, you should get the uh, universe first. So where is the universe? Uh, UNIVC, universe, U1 plus U2, right? Where is U1? U1 is where? You need to cast it. You need to cast that. UN has been stored in where? TRV main, right? 
nodes. This is the parent node, the zeros. That should be the uh, input universe category, right? And then the child node. That should be the first child node, right? The zeros first child node. The tab. See, so you get the universe you want. So you can get similarly get U2, right? So in this case, how about the X? Double. X. Y and Z. Put it there. So if I follow the universe U1, then X equal what? Equal U1 mean. I mean low 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 bound, right? Plus well we need another one, right? We need this double uh, U1 D E L T A U2 D E L T A similar, right? So we kind of use U1 delta times right now R. The ratio is our I, right? That's it. So U1, how can you carry the U1? So we need to get a resolution first, right? Uh, where's the first resolution? Resolution, we have a computer resolution right here. So U1 equal what? U1 upper bound minus U1 lower bound, right? Divided by resolution minus 1. Okay, so that is the U1. Uh, U1 delta. And how about the U2 delta? Well, you should calculate that by yourself. So X can be determined through this way. And how about the Y? No, not Y, Z, excuse me. Z should be U2, right? Low bound plus U2 delta time J. So right now you get the XZ, right? It's XZ. It's a crisp value. It's a crisp value used to to compute the the uh, the, uh, the 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 output, right? So U two delta and red Korean came up because you did not initialize it. So well, I just put zero there. Right? U two equal nine. So you need to find U two by yourself. All right. So up to this point, we have coordinate one, coordinate two. So coordinate two is what equal uh, z, not y. See, so we kind of build up. Uh, co uh, list of doubles coordinate condition not coordinate assuming this condition right so then we can invoke the system crisp in crisp bar inference it will guarantee return a crisp value back to our ourselves so it's created z there and then we should call surface uh, response response surface uh, add X, Y, Z. So now with that, pay attention to that. Your response is, uh, oh, excuse me, not, not Z, Y. Right, right. All right, it's so Y. Input is Z. X and Z. X and the Z. Vertical, vertical axis is Y. So our response, uh, our output should be put on the Y axis. Okay. So that is the surface. And before that, you should create that. You should create, create. Dot create all the point. All right, so you make make sure you can complete that. So this button is again simple. Well, which is similar to this button, right? So right now I have shown you how to uh, generate a service through this button. And if you don't like the colors, you can I think you can in the advanced modify it to make the color look much more well. It's related to the surface, so you can click on the uh, response surface. And since it's uh, externally accessible, so it is can be regarded as a as a as an independent uh, object. So you can set the uh, color right here. And there is a so-called start color. It's a gray uh, gradient color, and I think it should be the middle color, right? Middle mi middle color here. Middle color. 
end kernel. It should be the end kernel. Not yet, it should be gold. So probably we can edit. Uh, how can we edit? Okay, so that was look better anyway. You can do that. I mean, you can you can set any right. And if you use a change the solution into fixed, oh, they did not implement that. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so try that button, right? Because right now it's hard coded. So similarly, I can I kind of copy in this line the solution from. Line, so that's the uh, the solution uh, intended by the user, and divided by the solution minus one. The solution minus one. The solution. The solution. Okay. All right, this is the solution third. Okay, so I change to the 360. Four point has been created, right? And the, the display. So you can use this uh, control button to rotate it. Okay, so it looks beautiful anyway. And this is zoom in, zoom out. I believe you should either horizontally drag it or vertical drag it. Oh, okay, this is a pen, not, not zoom in. It's a pen, pen. And this is zoom in, zoom out. Horizontally increase, horizontally, vertical. Whoops, gosh, I don't know how to get it. Ah, Jesus. Ah, never mind. Okay, that's it. I think that's the that is the instruction for using the T chart to display 3D surface for you. Okay, so should be there any other problem or question? You may just email it to me. Okay, so that will be the uh, extra video that I get, that I like to show you. Okay, that's it.